Ken, let me tell you another superpower of OpenZD. Uh, this superpower is one that we like to call build it in, don't bolt it on. And so the superpower is that your security is hidden inside of your application. So with OpenZD, you can take an SDK, jam it into your application or integrate it would be a better term into your application. And then uh, you're all these great zero trust strengths that are pillars of zero trust, authenticate before connect, authorize, uh, sorry, authorize before connect, uh, authentication policies, all that sort of great goodness that you get with OpenZD is all put built into your application. It's not bolted onto your application. Right. <clears throat> Most so networking. Often it's like, so, so often it's like, get it working and then make it secure. That's right. Yeah. And, and you think of that, make it secure as bolting security onto your application or around your application. So on the top here, we have a picture of the limousine that the United States president drives around in. It's called the beast, as you said, and uh, it's got all this great security built into it, bulletproof tires, bomb proof doors, glass, all that sort of stuff, but you'd never know it because it's all baked into it as opposed to that Mad Max style of security where, you know, you're just slapping things on time after time. If, if some new intruder gets into your defenses, you, you add a new defense. And so that would be uh, integrated security, building it in versus bolting it on. That makes sense. So, I mean, there's, there's two layers here on this onion. Uh, the most obvious thing is that the beast is beautiful. I mean, Mad Max is beautiful too, in a very different way. <laughs> in a different way, right? yeah. In a very different way. Uh, I, I love, I love a good um, um, what are they apocalypse. Them? Yeah, apocalypse, <laughs> apocalyptic tale, um, uh, something like. Uh, anyway, the uh, but th there's the fact that it's beautiful. There's the fact that it, it's it's unassuming, you, and it looks like a normal limousine, but. The, the next layer there is that if you wanted to change something about the limousine, yeah, you have to take into account its, its architecture, but you could just paint it a new color. And like painting it wouldn't be any different than painting any other car, really. And if you needed to work on the engine, you could just do that anyway. There's a certain flexibility that may be a subtler point about that, in a, that uh, embedding of the security in the design to extend the analogy, whereas there's a certain rigidity and encumbering of bolting on where now you've got things that weren't part of the original design bolted on and they impede working on the vehicle or changing its. Appearance. I like it. That's a, it's a fun way to think of it because, you know, in a lot of ways, uh, OpenZD is about empowering the developer. And as the developer, you're integrating that SDK into your application. And so you, are the best one to know your application, understand your application, not you know the the person who has to build or bolt your the security on after the fact. So that's a good point. I like it. Cargo cult. That's what I was trying to think of. 